China is rapidly becoming a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing. This is a significant development in the tech world. For years, China relied heavily on imported chips. Now China is building its own advanced chip making facilities at an astonishing rate. This shift has major implications for the global technology landscape. China's ambition is clear, to achieve self-sufficiency in chip production and become a dominant player in the global semiconductor market. This ambition is backed by substantial government support and investment. The world is watching closely as China's chip industry continues its rapid ascent. The numbers tell a compelling story about China's chip fab boom, a phenomenon that has captured global attention. As of October 2024, China has 43 operational chip fabrication plants, a significant milestone in the tech world. These fabs are essential for producing the chips that power our smartphones, computers and countless other devices. But that's not all. They also support emerging technologies like AI and IoT. China has an additional 24 fabs currently under construction, indicating a robust pipeline for future growth. This means China is on track to have nearly 70 major chip-making facilities in the coming years, a number that could reshape the global semiconductor landscape. This rapid expansion is unprecedented in the history of the semiconductor industry, setting new benchmarks for speed and scale. These figures highlight the sheer scale and speed of China's chip-making ambitions which are unmatched by any other nation. The country is clearly committed to becoming a major player in this strategically important area, aiming to secure its place at the forefront of technological innovation. China's semiconductor push has significant implications for the global tech industry and beyond. Semiconductors are the fundamental building blocks of modern electronics. They power everything from smartphones and laptops to cars, airplanes and advanced weapons systems. China's growing chip-making capacity could disrupt the existing global supply chains for semiconductors. For decades, Taiwan, South Korea and the United States have been the dominant players in chip manufacturing. China's rise challenges this established order. This shift has the potential to reshape global trade patterns and geopolitical alliances. It also raises important questions about technological competition and national security. While driving China's rapid semiconductor expansion, making it a global powerhouse in the industry, one key factor is government policy which has been instrumental in shaping the industry's growth. The Chinese government has identified semiconductors as a strategic priority and is providing massive financial support to domestic chip makers, ensuring they have the resources needed to compete globally. This includes subsidies, tax breaks, and other incentives designed to accelerate the growth of the industry, making it more attractive for businesses to invest in semiconductor manufacturing. The government's Made in China 2025 plan, launched in 2015, outlines a comprehensive strategy to upgrade China's manufacturing capabilities with a particular focus on semiconductors, aiming to reduce reliance on foreign technology. Another crucial factor is market demand, which continues to grow at an unprecedented rate. China is the world's largest consumer of electronic devices, which translates into a huge domestic market for semiconductors, driving the need for local production. As Chinese consumers demand more sophisticated smartphones, computers and other devices, the need for domestically produced chips grows stronger, pushing the industry to innovate and expand even further. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos. For more updated and exciting content, let's continue. The Made in China 2025 plan is a strategic initiative by the Chinese government to transform China from a manufacturing giant into a global technology powerhouse. This ambitious plan aims to upgrade the country's industrial capabilities and foster innovation across various sectors. The plan targets 10 key industries including semiconductors, robotics, aerospace and artificial intelligence. These sectors are seen as critical for the future economic growth and technological advancement of China. The goal is to achieve 70% self-sufficiency in core components and technologies by 2025. This means that China aims to produce most of its essential technologies domestically, reducing its dependence on foreign imports. For semiconductors, this means significantly increasing domestic chip production capacity and reducing reliance on foreign suppliers. This is crucial for ensuring the security and stability of China's tech supply chain. The Made in China 2025 plan has attracted considerable attention and scrutiny from other countries, particularly the United States. Many nations are closely monitoring China's progress and its implications for global trade and technology. Some view it as a challenge to US technological dominance and a potential threat to national policy. 
The plan has sparked debates on the global stage about the future of technology and international relations. Implications for the global tech landscape. China's chip fab boom has significant implications for the global technology landscape. As China ramps up its chip making capacity, it could challenge the dominance of established players like Taiwan, South Korea, and the United States. This could lead to increased competition, potentially driving down prices for consumers, but also potentially disrupting existing supply chains. The semiconductor industry is highly globalized, with companies relying on a complex network of suppliers and partners around the world. China's growing influence in this industry could reshape these relationships and create new geopolitical dynamics. The world is watching closely as China's chip industry continues its rapid ascent. Collaboration and competition. China's semiconductor ambitions are not without challenges. This is partly driven by a desire to reduce China's dependence on foreign chip suppliers, but also to capture a larger share of the lucrative semiconductor market. As a result, we're seeing a wave of new fabs being built across China, each one promising to bring new capabilities and technologies online. Developing advanced chips requires cutting-edge equipment, specialized knowledge, and a skilled workforce. China is actively investing in research and development, attracting top talent and seeking partnerships with international companies to accelerate its progress. The growth of China's chip fabrication industry is not without its challenges, though. One major concern is the intense competition with other countries that are already established players in the global semiconductor market. This competition is likely to drive down prices and profit margins, making it difficult for Chinese fabs to remain profitable. Another challenge is the potential impact on global supply chains. As China ramps up its chip production, it may lead to an oversupply of certain types of chips which could disrupt the delicate balance of the global semiconductor supply chain. Furthermore, the concentration of chip fabs in China could also create new The global semiconductor industry is characterized by both collaboration and competition. China's rise will likely lead to a more complex and dynamic landscape, with opportunities for cooperation as well as potential for friction. The future of the semiconductor industry depends on how these dynamics unfold. Looking ahead, the future of chips. The future of the semiconductor industry is inextricably linked to China's trajectory. As China continues to invest heavily in chip making, the global balance of power and technology could shift significantly. This has implications for everything from economic competitiveness to national security. As we look to the future, it's clear that China's chip fab boom is going to be a major game-changer for the technology industry. Whether you're an investor, a researcher, or simply someone who's interested in the latest tech trends, this development is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to the latest technology trends and market analyses, be sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.